hello everybody welcome back let's paint together so let me set things uh, ready for the shoot today's location is kitchen counter <laughs> Hope you are doing fine and I am back in Bangalore. So today's video is all about uh, background which has uh, sunshine bubbles and a daisy. Uh, uh, a daisy which is in the bright sunny morning. So I am using a sponge canvas sheet. Uh, this is a masking tape and uh, this uh, the background is actually in a circular motion because I wanted a very blur background because the morning sunshine when you're making the sunshine bubble so it has to be a blur background so you have to make uh, the background in a circular motion so that's when it will uh, help you further to make the bubbles which is round and the bubbles are usually uh, from lighter to the brightest of the same color so take a look how I make the sunshine bubbles the color I have used here is uh, uh, violet pansy, a deep magenta, light green, a bit of white and uh, pink. So you can place the colors as seen in the beginning of the background wash randomly. You just have to uh, make sure that which side, uh, which corner of the canvas you need to be darker and lighter and you just have to place the colors and start blending it. So once you put the color randomly then slowly you can blend it. So this, this is how I make the sunshine bubbles you know from the same color the because on, on this canvas the background is more of the, the purple. So I take the purple a bit of white and make the light uh, whitish the same color of the lighter tone and in a circular motion it has to be very blurred so you can use your fingertips also to make that smudged look and a sponge is also a very good tool to uh, make this effect as you always say uh, painting progresses as you start painting it so you can adjust the colors accordingly uh, you know as it progresses like wherever you want the darker tone wherever you want the, the lighter ones from the same color here i've used a sponge with wooden stick which is also a very good tool to make your sun bubbles sunshine bubbles and a sun in case you want to make a sun or a moon this is a very good tool you can also use your fingertips as I am doing it here to make it more brighter and smudge look onto the side or you can even place the bubbles on onto the uh, side of the uh, bigger ones so that it's, uh, it is like a layers you know layers of bubbles you can also make that way. So the sunshine bubbles uh, has multiple uh, layers on it because as I said from lighter to the brightest of the same color. So uh, as we keep adding the color you the final touch has to be brighter you know it has to really look like a sunshine. So what happens is that uh, as we start making the bubbles from the beginning it the paper also absorbs a bit so once you finish doing you know wherever you want to place the sunshine bubbles you come back that dries and again you can go back to the same place take the color the same color tone and you can see the shift of the color this technique is wet on wet not really wet but semi wet so we are done with the sunshine bubbles i'm so sorry i couldn't shoot the stem or the video paused actually in fact this video to make this video it took two days because the first day I put the background and I had some guests come over and the second day the phone was giving me a lot of problem because I didn't realize that it wasn't charged enough then it, I had to pause it then again it reshoot it the whole day went in painting this video so there are days sometimes that you only paint uh, one single composition because this kind of a technique allows me to paint at least two in a day I make one short and one long video. You can make the leaves with flat brush or angle brush of any size. So in case, in, in case you need a bigger size, you can use a bigger brush. If you're not comfortable, you can always go with a smaller brush size and you can make a relatively a standard size leaf because as you open the chisel and you spread and the amount of uh, pressure you uh, apply on the canvas will also uh, you know, convert into a small or the bigger size leaf. 
it's all about how you control your brush how you uh, the amount of pressure you apply on the canvas so to bring the gradation in the leaves also like this is the, the way i'm making it now i'm making a folded leaf so i need to pick a little bit of white and the color changes the same brush same color same side i'm using it but you can you can see the transition so in, in case you feel that the leaf is not bright enough for the background you can alter it see i've, I've made the uh, leaf look brighter it also uh, uh, you know uh, uh, tells that the sunshine is from uh, from upwards so th that is also one way how you uh, alter your uh, painting as you paint that's why i always say painting progresses once you start even though you have a clear idea yeah, and now let's get into uh, the main uh, composition, the flower. So I've made a center point and this is a daisy. So yellow is a very, very translucent color. So if you directly painting yellow, then you will have to give multiple coating. So since it has a background, it, you may not need much of the coating, but still yellow is a translucent color. So what I have done is I've given a white uh, daisy first and then on top of that, I'm going to paint yellow. So that is how the yellow color is going to stand out. The brush I've used here is a round brush, synthetic camelin number no. 6. And you can uh, uh, carefully watch the, uh, the brush movement, how I place it and drag it down. So the daisy leaves are uh, of, uh, you know, it, the round brush will definitely give us the petal of the daisy, uh, you know, exactly the petal of the daisy. So we have done with the first layer of uh, white background for daisy oops my battery is down anyway it's a lunch time so uh, i'm going to have lunch so today is a very simple lunch i've got some uh, dal and uh, chicken fry there's just two of us here so you don't have to worry in case in uh, something happens in between your painting you can definitely close your painting and keep it has to be closed completely all the sides as you can uh, see here welcome back so yes so this is how i've closed my paint paint and it is going to be as soft as uh, before so let's get started so now once the white background is kind of dried you can also leave it for drying or if you have a air dryer you can also use that so i'm going to put yellow on each of the white petals by following this technique we can bring out the richness of the uh, colors that uh, those are translated If you're new to my channel and uh, haven't subscribed yet and if you like my tutorial my painting please do subscribe share comment and hit the notification bell thank you so much any doubt regarding this painting or regarding the art supplies please do uh, uh, message me i would be more than happy to answer all of them I also upload shorts very regularly, a very short tutorial. You can even follow them and uh, give me a thumbs up for that too. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. Do follow me there as well. Watch the video without skipping. I add few details uh, uh, in between. And there is also a baby daisy uh, being painted on this. So I'll leave you here. Uh, I'll see you soon in my next video. Until then, take care. Stay safe. Bye.